What is going on everyone? My name is Ryan, AKA Juno Ryan. Welcome to the video. Today's video is a continuation from a super awesome day I had last week out on the rocks here in Japan, absolutely crushing the Mahi Mahi. So if you haven't seen that video, check the description. Awesome day of fishing. Today we have a continuation from that, some unused footage as well as a super awesome Mahi Mahi recipe and me cleaning it start to finish, showing you guys what that process looks like. So kick your feet up, grab a brew, whatever you're into, it's gonna be a great video. See you out on the rocks. Oh, oh, digging it from him. Oh my God, that was sick. <laughs> oh my God, this is some of the most epic shit I've ever seen. From land, Maki Maki. God, I'll tell you what, I am stoked. Filming freaking talking head sequences and Mahi starts showing up. Ah, gotta climb up these rocks. Try not to die. Where are they at? Ah. Straight head, straight head. Straight head. Straight head. Ah. Got him on. Nice one, dude. Oh my god! Dude! Dude! Oh, this is sick. Oh, there's some nicer ones in that school, bro. Come here, buddy. Oh my god. Oh, there you go. Cast out. Get another one. Straight that way. All right, come here, Buster. We're gonna release you. One, two, three. Oh, shoot. I guess it's a little bit bigger. It is a little bigger. In the pool. Yeah, it's bigger than that. So I'm gonna, yeah. There you go. This is absolutely ridiculous. I can't believe the amount of schools that are coming through. I've, I've seen a couple out here. You guys have seen a video um, where I go out and I catch a couple before, but these schools, there's so many coming through. Got a handful now. There's more, a lot more to be caught. I'm stoked. Woo! is for the most part we're looking for them. The Mahi are swimming pretty much from one direction to the other. We're passing out at them and just getting a lure in front of them. Something fast moving really doesn't really matter. Typically I'm using like a butterfly jig or something like that. They're coming up and they're crushing it. It is, it's super cool to see y'all. <laughs> I don't think I've been this fired up on fishing in a long time. That's, this is so cool. I don't see any. I just got him on the blind cast. One, two, three. Yeah. Nope. Oh, yeah. 
All right, come here, dude. Nice. Beautiful. There you go. Adios. Yeah, man. We got kind of our uh, little ghetto cleaning uh, cleaning station that we got going on in this beautiful scenic area. Deontre's up there cleaning one, and I'm gonna show you guys how I clean one. First thing I do with the mahi when I'm cleaning them is I go ahead and make a cut, basically from this bottom fin all the way top through the top to their head meat. You may think that I'm missing a lot of meat. All I'm really doing is just avoiding the gut cavity. I'm gonna start here. Boom. Get on in there. That head meat. And then continue. My knife's getting kind of dull, but here we go. Get that initial cut. Then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna outline the mahi with just the tip of my knife. Get everything started. That's Really the intent of that is to separate the skin on the outside of the fish so we can start separating the meat from the bones. These fish today we weren't able to keep on ice because we're just kind of in a weird place essentially. So we kept them room temperature, kept them live for a long time to keep the meat good. But typically I like a, uh, I like a colder fish to work with because it's just, it fillets a lot easier. Now I'm gonna do right here, get that initial cut. I'm gonna follow along the top of the fish with the tip of my knife. Now we have the entire thing outlined and all I'm going to do is slowly start working, swing around and you can get this from this angle. Start separating this fillet, this slab of meat from sections of bones. So really with mahi or with any fish, the key to getting a nice fillet is to go slow and steady and just get practice. So I'm, I'm fairly out of practice right now to tell you guys the truth, but we're out here trying to make sick vids. So we gotta do what we gotta do. If you think I suck at flying, you can absolutely comment below. Here we are, separating, separating. Now, depending on how I'm feeling on the day, sometimes I'll come down and I'll start from down here. And that's kind of what I'm feeling right now and do the exact same thing and separate the meat all the way up to that main backbone. The backbone kind of sticks up and there's bones going through the fish pointing straight at my face like this. So the meat will kind of follow that. So you kind of have to just follow the curvature of how the fish actually, uh, how the fish looks in order to not really waste anything. There's that. Once you get all of that, if it hasn't already been separated, come up, separate. And right here is probably the toughest part of the fish. There's just, the, the bones are thicker here. You just have to wedge your knife in there and slowly start separating the bones. work your way down the fish. So. And 
you have a nice mahi filet. I'll show you guys how to skin it here in a sec. Something you guys will find interesting though is this. This isn't the biggest fish you, you guys saw um, either in this video or the last one. They lose that like 20, 25 pound bull today. This is like what we call a schoolie dolphin in Florida or people call them chicken dolphin or mahi. Not very big, but this is a female and how you can tell not only the shape of the head, but also the fact that she's holding eggs. All this orange stuff right here, this is all row, this is egg. So even at a smaller size, dolphin are already reproducing and uh, they're releasing eggs and making more mahi. So one of the fastest growing fish in the ocean. This one right here is not even a year old. Um, typically they don't grow to be more than five years old. So a 50 pound fish is typically gonna be around five, six years old. In the fish, we're just gonna take our filet. I start from where the tail end was and we're going to separate the meat from the skin. Now you'll see some dudes with mahi, you'll see them peel the skin off. I used to do that, I don't like to anymore. Um, I, I think it affects the taste of the fish. But we're just gonna take our knife and slowly separate the meat from the skin. I'm gonna follow it with my fingers up underneath here. Don't be afraid to get a little dirty. And again, slow and steady wins the race. Mahi have thinner skin, so it's common when you're skinning mahi to miss a little bit of the skin on that initial um, on that initial schwack. I could definitely do that. I also like a flexible knife because if you see what I'm doing right now is I'm pressing down and keeping my knife nice and flat with the rest of the fish. I think I'm missing some right now, realistically. I kind of feel it. Boom. Nice. Oh, there you have it. I actually did get all the skin off. That's everything. So if you're gonna eat the mahi on the same day, all you gotta do is remove a little bit of the bones right here and it's good to go. If you're gonna freeze it, all of this red stuff right here, highly recommend you get rid of all that red stuff. It's what we call the bloodline and it will cause it to have a fishier taste. If, like I said, if you don't mind that, it'll be fine. And if you're gonna eat it on the same day, it's typically fine. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I, how I prep one of these for the kitchen. I'm just gonna take this guy and I'm gonna slice it right down the middle. That will remove any, what we call pin bones. Boom, slice it right down the middle. Last little piece, I'm just gonna cut off the inside that was this belly. That stuff doesn't taste super great. And you're good to go. You could chunk these up into nuggets. You cook them like this on the grill. You're good to go, you're ready to go. So, same, other side of the fish, exact same thing. So I'll see you guys in the kitchen. I just got back from a super long day of fishing and I gotta be up early tomorrow to fish again. But I want to cook up some fish. I'm starving, I want something tasty, but I don't want to spend a whole lot of time. So I'll show you guys what I'm going to do. I didn't have a whole lot in my fridge either, um, but this is a super easy recipe and it's uh, gonna be delicious. Okay, this is what we're working with for our ingredientes today. Some garlic powder, salt, paprika, pepper. We're gonna have make some yellow rice as our side. We got some butter, two whole lemons, and some olive oil got three pieces of mahi here. I bagged up the rest and tossed it in the freezer because I'm gonna have a whole lot of fresh fish tomorrow too. All I did, cleaned up these fish fillets, made them about, uh, I picked some thicker ones, made them about two inches by like five inches, and I'm patting them dry with paper towel so I get a nice brown color when I cook them up in the pan. What I'm gonna be making is bas a basic pan fried mahi no breading or anything and we're gonna finish it off with a lemon butter sauce it's going to be delicious it's going to be easy and let's get to it okay right now i got some olive oil heating up in a pan and all i'm doing is i'm seasoning my fish by eye you could measure this out and make it super perfect but i'm not super picky and i just like a little bit of flavor you know i like i'm actually uh i probably go heavier than a lot of guys I went way aggressive with that paprika there. There we go. Nice. Take that a little bit of extra and toss it on other parts of the fish. There we go. Chefs out there are cringing, but you know, sometimes it's just about the taste, y'all, and not about the aesthetics. A little bit of salt. 
and all I'm going to do is press the seasoning into there with my hands. Wash your hands, kids. Flip the fish over and we're gonna do the exact same thing to the other side. Next, we're gonna make our butter sauce. Went ahead and microwaved half a stick of butter, probably a little bit much. Won't really need that much, but oh well, it was easy. I'm just gonna take a whole lemon. I don't have the tool that you need to juice them, but we got our hands and a little bit of elbow grease. We're just gonna juice the lemon into the butter. Squeeze that guy in there. Boom. Use real lemons. Don't use normal lemon juice or, you know, if that's what you got, that's what you got. But I prefer real lemons, vice the bottled lemon juice. So that whole lemon, half a stick of butter, and then we're going to add some salt to it. Stir that guy up with a fork. And really at this point, all I do is just give it a taste and see what we're looking like. If it's too lemony or if it's too buttery, just add a little bit more of whatever you're missing. For me, that tastes pretty good. I'm gonna stick with that. Now we got our pan nice and hot. We're gonna take our fish and we're gonna toss it in here. Oh yeah, that's gonna be nice. These thicker pieces of fish tend to come out a lot better than thinner pieces. So if you are able to get a fillet that's about, you know, one inch or so, you're gonna get a lot better product. They're gonna crisp up nicer. It's gonna be real, real good. Um, when they have about a minute left, I'm gonna add a little bit of lemon butter sauce. A lot of these recipes that I do aren't always going to be the fanciest or anything like that, but I like to show you guys just simple things that you can do. Sometimes cooking fish or trying new things can be fairly intimidating. We like to stick to what we know, but fish especially, there's so many different things that you can do to it, and really it's not that hard to cook, so this is, I'm, I'm getting excited. My mouth's starting to water. Boom. Flip that guy. Oh yeah, these are looking real nice. Go ahead and add a little bit of that sauce. And we'll save the rest for when we're serving it. Finishing touches, we're gonna drizzle some of that beautiful lemon butter sauce on top of the fish. And, you know, if we were doing this for Instagram, we would uh, put some lemon wedges on there for aesthetics. You know, I, I think I probably should have something green if I was actually going for aesthetics. There's a whole lot of yellow here, not a whole lot of green, but you know what? I'm going to dig in. I'm starving. Let's do a taste test on camera. Oh, yeah. Nice. Flaky. Glad. A little bit of extra lemon because you know what? I like a little lemon. Oh man. That is good. Honestly, fresh fish, I feel like you could probably take it, heat it up on the sidewalk, and you don't even season it and it's still gonna be good. But you know, take, taking a little bit of seasoning, a little bit of preparation and cooking it in a, with that lemon butter sauce, y'all this is excellent. I'm starving. I'm gonna eat up. Y'all, that is going to be the end of the video. If you're liking these catch and cooks, be sure to leave it a thumbs up or leave a comment in the section below. I appreciate those a lot, a lot more than you guys know. I'm going to finish up my dinner and get ready to go fishing because I gotta be up in uh, about five or six hours to go out on a trip and hopefully slay some more fish. So I appreciate you guys so much. See ya in that next one. Peace.